Hi, Redeemer. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Amber Hatch. Um, and I've been asked to send out a little message about COVID-19, its impact on our community, and, on, and, and some tips on how my family's dealing with it. As we all know now, there's a global pandemic and it will affect our community as well. We are not exempt. Um, we're now looking at stay at home orders and social distancing um, to prevent further, uh, further spread of this virus. And in this time when we don't know what to do and we don't know what we have in control and this is, this is one thing that we all have the ability to do. Um, we know the virus is spread through essentially close contact. Um, usually within six feet, that's the underlying reason for social distancing. Um, it's mostly spread through some kind of droplet, cough and sneeze, but then it could be from touch of any surface. And so the biggest impact we can make is to truly limit who we have contact with. And that's where the stay at home order is so important. Um, and so as isolating and as anxiety inducing as it is, um, please listen and comply as much as you possibly can um, and limit your contact to your household as much as possible. Um, also know that most people that develop COVID-19, um, this new strain of the coronavirus, <clears throat> have relatively kind of mild symptoms, fever, cough, uh, mild shortness of breath, and they are able to stay home and need no hospitalization and no medical interventions. Um, if you are uncertain if you've been exposed or you potentially um, might have COVID-19, please call your doctor's office or call one of the local hotlines to get advice on if you need testing and where to go. Um, at, currently, we're not testing everyone that has symptoms. You may just need to stay home, um, but get advice. It's important to know that you're not alone and that there are resources in our community. And in the midst of all of this, how do we deal with, with being isolated and um, and how do we stay healthy through all of this? Well, my family's not perfect. Um, we struggle. We've watched a lot of Netflix and had a few arguments, but there are a few things that are helping us get through. Go outside. We found that going outside, um, running around, exercising, um, and just taking in the beauty of nature is vitally important in so many ways. So if you have a dog, go for a walk. Um, if you need to go for a run, go for a run. But do it with only the people that you are spending the most time with, so your household, um, so that you don't break this um, stay at home or social distancing order. Um, we've also found that reinstating game night has been very important at our house since we're spending so much time together and there's a lot of really friendly competition happening. Um, and then finally, you know, our extended family has looked at ways to use. Um, these video chat platforms in a way to bring us closer together so that we can be together even though we're physically distant. Um, and so hopefully those are um, things that you can find so that you don't feel so alone and isolated um, in this difficult time. Um, you are not alone. I miss y'all.